It's lovely to be with you here tonight in the Iron Hall. Um, I'm from Armagh, so um, not too far, but this does seem like God's own country down here when you come in and you pull in and you see all of the, the artwork even along the side. So it's, it's lovely to be with you tonight. I hope tonight that um, the songs are um, not just an encouragement to you, but if you're here and you're not saved, even that there would be a challenge to you um, wherever you're at. Um, even just the words of this song, mercy walked in and pleaded my case, called to the stand God's saving grace. The blood was presented that covered my sin, forgiven when mercy walked in. was free. 
what gift of grace is Jesus my Redeemer? There is no more for heaven now to give. He is my joy, my righteousness and freedom, my steadfast love, my deep and boundless peace. To this I hold, I hold. Is only Jesus for my life is wholly bound to His. Oh, how strange and divine I can sing. All is mine, yet not I, but through Christ in me. Night is dark, but I am not forsaken. For by my side, the Savior He will stay. I labor on in weakness and rejoicing. For in my need, His power is displayed. To this I hold, my Shepherd. And I shall overcome, yet not I, but through Christ in me. No fate I dread, I know I am forgiven. The future sure, the price it has been. Jesus bled and suffered for my pardon, and he was raised to overthrow the grave. To this I hold, my sin has been defeated. Jesus now and ever is my plea. Oh, the chains are released. I can sing. I long to follow Jesus, for he has said that he will bring me home. And day by day, I know he will renew me, until I stand with joy before his throne. To this I hold, my hope is only Jesus. Still my lips shall repeat, yet not I, but through Christ in me. When my race is complete, still my lips shall repeat, yet not I, but through Christ in me. Um, Mervyn said to me during the week that maybe I would uh, say a wee bit about what I'm doing, which to me is funny because nobody knows me anyway here, so that's maybe not going to make much of a difference. But um, maybe in hearing uh, what God's doing in my life, he might um, be speaking to you too about something and he used me to convict and challenge you as well. Um, and so for the last 15 years, um, I've been teaching English um, in a secondary school, and that's what I've I've um, been doing as a career and then um, I volunteer as a biblical counsellor in an organisation just outside of Armagh and then obviously I have um, a singing ministry uh, going around different churches and missions singing um, and then writing some of my own songs as well. 
But back in May time, in 2023, I was going out to speak at a ladies' meeting and sing, and the theme that I had taken for that meeting was go through with God. And just before um, I left to go and get into the car, a message came through um, from a man associated with a camp in America, a um, Bible-centered missions camp, that I have gone to every summer for maybe the past 10 years um, to help during the summer holidays. Um, and he sent me a message and said, I'd like you to prayerfully consider a position that has come up. It would mean f coming into full-time ministry here in America and giving up your job. And as I was in a rush leaving the house, so I just sort of thought, well, I'm not doing it. No, I'm no more interested in going to America. So put the phone away, went to the meeting, gave the message that I had, had been in my heart, was singing. And as I was coming home in the car, I was so convicted about being a hypocrite, you know, that I had been standing up there telling these ladies, oh, the best thing you can do in life is to go through with God. And yet at that very moment before I was to go to that meeting, whenever I was presented with that opportunity about oh, what are you willing to do here? My initial instinct was no, I'm, I'm busy in my own church. I'm busy um, for the Lord in all of the things that he has given me here. And yet I couldn't get any peace about it. I felt so challenged about it and everywhere I went if it was my own church it was a different church singing if it was listening to something online all of it was pointed towards getting up out of my job arising and go and so that brought me to the end of June and I um, went to speak to my principal in school about um, that and I was I thought it was doing big things I thought it was a big sacrifice as somebody who's very organized and likes to know what's happening to come out of teaching and out of the stability of that and a monthly salary and knowing I could pay a mortgage and all those things to be thinking, I'm not quite sure how this is all going to work. And then in July, at the end of July, tragedy uh, struck our family home when my younger sister uh, was tragically killed off a motorbike um, at just 35 years of age. And then even at that stage, I'm thinking to myself, okay, Lord, now I gave up my job and I was ready to go and I was all sorted and now this has happened and now what am I supposed to do and even at certain points between um, August and October my boss would come back to me and say do you want to just forget about this going away for the year and just keep going and I really struggled with it and I had to say I've got to go back to the word the Lord gave me and the word told me arise and go so I have to continue with that the difficulty now is I'm still waiting on a visa all this time later so if there's anything that you could be praying uh, for me about when you go home tonight it's for me to know what is the will of God is it for that visa to come through and for me to go or is it for that visa be, to be rejected and for the Lord have something else for me to do and I suppose that's why I'm going to end tonight with the song go through with God it's an old Noel Grant song I'm sure many of you know it I remember it as a missionary hymn growing up in church but you know there's a message for us all in it and it doesn't matter if um, you've been saved a long time the Lord has something for you to do maybe you're a backslider here tonight when was the last time you remember actually going through with him or if you're unsaved tonight even just that thought of when it comes to the end all that matters is whether or not you went through with him whether or not you took up that offer of salvation to go through with God <laughs>
but friendships grow.